Hello, and welcome to my 2019 Half-Life 2 tutorial, and welcome to the first part. So in this first part, I'm going to show you how to uh, install the, be uh, the best version of the game to for speedrunning. So then go over or show you a list of binds that you're going to need, and then we'll go over the movement in game and uh, start showing stuff off in there. So what we're going to do is you're going to go to this web page. We're going to go to... Uh, speedrun.com forward slash hl2 forward slash resources and what you're going to do is you're going to go here to ghosting mod just click here and then you're going to go to ghostingmod.zip and click on it right here and this will download ghosting mod for you so you should have it in your downloads like so and then what I recommend doing now because you gotta put this in the right folder in your steam folder in a specific spot so what I recommend doing for that is uh, open your Steam library, like this. Just go to any game, doesn't matter, it could be Half-Life 2 if you want. Go over, right click properties, go to local files, go to browse local files, then go to Steam apps, and then in source mods what you're going to do is you're going to open the zip file, then you're going to tell WinRAR to be quiet and wish you used 7-zip, unlike the dumb person who uses WinRAR. Uh, drag and drop ghosting mod and it should appear in here like this and then there's one more one more step you're gonna have to do is after you do this you're gonna go to into the maps folder and then there will be the maps.zip in here so you're gonna open that up go in here just control a in here to select everything and just paste it in here so that you have all these maps in here like I have here so that's going to be what you're going to do, and that should be ghosting mod installed. And there's going to be one other thing you need to install as well before we continue. So you can go here to your Steam, go to Tools, scroll down, and you're going to want to install Source SDK Base 2007. And you're also going to want to have Half-Life 2 installed on Steam. So this is a, all the three things you're going to need to run the game. Then you're going to... Restart Steam, and when you restart Steam, you sh ghosting should appear in here, right here, as you can see. And that'll be the game. So, now I'm going to quickly go over a bit of binds here. So, I made this nice text document to show you what the binds do. And uh, this will be in a paste bin in, this, in the description. So, here are all the binds. Like I said, paste bin in the description. And I will go over these as we need them in each uh, video tutorial because I'm going to go through the game map by map maybe group a couple maps together if they're uh, maybe some short maps so uh, yeah that's the gist of it so I'm going to go hop in game and then I'll show you how to move around in Half-Life 2 to get you started oh yeah real quick for a uh, quick extra thing here uh, what you can do is you can uh, right click ghosting, go to properties, go to set launch options, and you can uh, put stuff in here such as uh, make sure it's in a window and have uh, no border. And then this no vid gets rid of the uh, like Valve uh, intro that games usually have from Valve. And you can like type in your resolution or whatever. Just a quick little thing if you want to play like borderless windowed or make sure it's in the right resolution when you launch the game. So yeah, that's that, and uh, continuing on to the movement portion. Alright, now that we're in the game, we're going to quickly go over stuff. So first thing you should probably do is, well, set the game to easy, because we speedrun on easy. So just go here, click Options, Difficulty, set to easy. Make sure you click Apply, so it's on there. And then uh, remap, remap the controls that you can remap in here. And then I'm going to show you stuff that you can't really map in here that you can use through the console. And to enable the console, you go from here, you click Advanced, and you check mark Enable the Developer Console. So, that's what you're going to do. You know, also change your audio settings, mouse sensitivity, everything, everything you need here, you can do. And then, let's go over our first bind we're going to need. So, our first bind we're going to need is we're going to bind our scroll wheel to plus jump. So, unfortunately... We're going to have to rebind your scroll wheel. I know you might be, you know, so used to jumping with spacebar in other games, you know, switching weapons to scroll wheel. Well, 
that's something you're gonna have to get used to, unfortunately. Because otherwise, the accelerated hopping we're gonna do is not gonna be easy. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bind M wheel up to plus jump, and then bind M wheel down to plus jump. These are in my uh, paste bin that I linked at the in the description below. So, there you go. So, now our scroll wheel is bound to jump. So let's go into a map. So, uh, to the my favorite map to practice on is just gonna type map d2 underscore coast underscore o1 and hit enter. And this will load you into the first map of coast. Now, the reason I like this map because this is a nice thing here to get some ABH off of and uh, you know see all this like slopes and stuff. But yeah, a scroll wheel's bound to uh, jump. Oh, and there's a couple things I want to do here to make a bit of this easier for you. So I'm just going to type in a few commands for practice. So first of all, we're going to enable SV cheats. So type SV cheats, SV underscore cheats, space one. And then we're going to type God to turn on God mode. And then last, we're going to type a command AI underscore disable. What this will do is just prevent like antlion spawning in the sand and stuff, like because that's supposed to happen in this level. But this is just going to be used purely for movement practice. So, an accelerated hop. An accelerated hop, you know, looks like this. But, I'm going to show you how to do it now. So, what you're going to do is the basic form of it is just turn around, hold sprint, run backwards, release S and hold crouch, and jump. So you do that. And then this is where the hard part comes in. You're going to have to time your scrolls. Unfortunately, it's just spamming scroll won't do much for you. You actually have to time it for when you hit the ground. Like that. So, that was ABH. Congratulations. I hope you did it. And wish you well on your journey in this game. So, uh, next up, I'm going to show you is how to do ASH. So... ASH is the same way, but forwards, or somewhat forwards. So what you're going to do is you're going to sprint forward, crouch, and turn your mouse right or to the left 45 degrees from where you're going. And if you turn your mouse left, you're going to have to hold the keys A and S. And if you're going to turn your mouse, or if you turn your mouse left, you're going to hold the keys S and D, sorry. And if you turn right, you're going to hold the keys A and S. Hopefully I didn't accidentally confuse you there. So, A and S, t turning to the right, S and D, turning to the left. And if you do it right, you, see, you should see that your speed should double, well, kind of double, as you get more speed. It doesn't always double because how the calculations for it work, but it's essentially increasing exponentially. So, last thing here is what I... Is, is a really important bit of movement, but it's also really hard. It's called the forward hop, the accelerated forward hop. So to do a forward hop is basically we're going to go forward and trick the game thinking we're going backwards. So it's like the ASH where you're holding like S and D and doing like that, but you're going to turn your mouse forward. But you're going to release S while you're in the air and then only tap it when you land on the ground and do your jump. It can, it's really hard to time. But you can, but it is possible, and it's very useful for like actually seeing where you're going in a lot of places when you're traveling very fast. The faster you go, the easier it is. So that's the basic set of movement. So I'm also going to tell you how to do a, a circle strafe. Circle strafe is another thing that's like kind of difficult to get a grasp of, but a circle strafe is just sprint and hold a strafe key and turn your mouse smoothly. Like smoothly, but not like too, too fast, if that makes sense. Like smooth and fast, but not too fast, like that. And you should see the speed counter that I have at the bottom go up. And when I jump, I get an instant accelerated hop. So that's a circle strafe. Another thing too is that you can actually ABH while standing, it's just harder to do because you get less acceleration when you're standing. But to have almost about the same acceleration as standing is to use the command plus walk. So you can bind a key to plus walk. Mine, I have mine bound to the default key. 
well, plus walk. There we go. And what that does is it makes you move slightly slower, but it also gives you more ABH acceleration. About the same as crouching, and we're going to be needing that for uh, sections and boat lifts. So that's how we do it standing. Of course, while you're not like holding S or anything, you can still like hold strafe keys as well to and turn your mouse to do air strafing. Standard store stuff. So that's an overview of the movement. You know, you can combine everything in many ways as you want. Practice on this map, learn. Also, learn how to, uh, you know, slope off things as well, because if you move fast enough horizontally, you'll slope off stuff, and also just learn timing for uneven slopes as well. All stuff that's very useful to learn through this map. So, just mess around on this map, and uh, have fun. And I'll see you in the next part, where we'll actually go into the first map of the game and show you some uh, stuff there.